This is my review of Boggy Creek Monster. Quite simply, the best documentary on the Falk Monster. <clears throat> Seth Breedlove, Brandon Dalo, and the rest of the crew of Small Town Monsters are known for producing high quality documentaries such as Minerva Monster and Beast of Whitehall, both productions about Sasquatch creatures in the Midwestern and Eastern part of the United States. Both of them are available at shop.smalltownmonsters.com and also on Vimeo. Recently added to Vimeo was this third and best documentary from STM, Boggy Creek Monster, and boy is it great. The narrator and host is Lyle Blackburn, the Beast of Boggy Creek, who takes us to various locations in and around Falk, Arkansas, talking to witnesses, town officials, and other important figures in the Boggy Creek Monster history. The cinematography on this production is absolutely stunning. Forests and swamps, as well as beautiful biome lands, one caught at sunset with time-lapse photography. The witnesses are very credible, but the one witness who had never told his story on camera before, Terry Sutton, was outstanding. <clears throat> Lots of sketches of the creature are featured throughout, as well as actual location shots. Several key locations of occurrences and sightings, such as the Cersei House, the Ford House location and Herb Jones Shack, or the remains of Herb Jones Shack, most of which all three locations are broken down and abandoned. There is also a loving tribute to Smokey Crabtree, who passed away earlier this year, as well as to the movie that inspired this production in Lyle's book, The Legend of Boggy Creek. In fact, this production is essentially Lyle's book put to celluloid and done very well. This one is a must-see, highly recommended, 12 out of 10. By the way, I also received the DVD earlier this week and uh, watched it and watched the uh, behind-the-scenes features, some really great behind-the-scenes stuff um, with the cast and crew, well, actually the crew, uh, Seth Breelove and Brandon Dalo and some of the other crew members, including the cinematographer, uh, who I thought did a tremendous job with the with the location shots and things of that nature really great and um there's also i mean there's a lot of great behind the scenes uh footage uh a good friend of mine brian Impey, actually helped out with production and helped out behind the scenes which was pretty cool they also discussed in the um in the behind the scenes footage that uh they had met with a grandson of Smokey Crabtree, who actually took them out to the actual property um, where parts of the Legend of Boggy Creek were filmed, and it was Smokey Crabtree's former property where he had built a house out there years ago, way away from Falk, of course. <clears throat> and he had a large property, he even dug out a, a lake. Uh, by himself and and created a lake um, not too far from Day's Creek and not too far from Boggy Creek. So it was really cool to see uh, the the crew from Small Town Monsters on that property. And uh, I think the um, the behind the scenes stuff really amplifies this this uh, terrific movie I mean I said documentary is actually a movie it's actually a film at least that's what I think it is and you know guys I mean shop.smalltownmonsters.com you know I can't say enough good things about Moggy Creek Monster the truth behind the legend I also got the um, the t-shirt which is pretty cool it's Boggy Creek Monster uh, I will show you guys what that looks like also. I just have to wait for it to go back one page. Wait, here's the t-shirt. That's a pretty cool design. I like that design. So I got the t-shirt and the DVD. Which, I mean, it's really cool. It's a great looking t-shirt, great design. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review 
uh, I made this announcement on my Facebook earlier. I'm actually going to take time off from my HBM Crypto Corner videos for the rest of the year unless there's breaking news. If something breaks, if something happens, I will definitely be reporting on it, but otherwise um, I won't be doing any videos. I will be reporting on the latest Bigfoot news on MNBRT Radio every Monday night at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash MNBRT. So, hope you guys can tune in. Anyway, thanks guys, and until next year, y'all be good or be good at it.